On tonight's Next Time Try This segment, I'm going to discuss with you a little bit about how to remove wheel bearings. It really isn't that difficult. With a couple of tips I'm going to give you, it's going to make it even easier. Something I want to bring to your attention before we begin though. As the bearings sit on each side of the hub, there's a spacer that sits between them, just like this. It sits right in there between the two bearings. The axle rides on it, it helps keep the grease in and keep the dirt out. But you have to get this little bushing out of the way first before you have access to the bearing. How you do that is with a bolt like this. So that's what I like to use. Something with a blunt end on it. I'm going to show you how to get it down in there and how to pop that bearing out quite easily. It doesn't really matter which side you begin from. I prefer to keep the brake side down. You can see the bearing is flush right here. If you were to have this thing sitting flat on your workbench, there wouldn't be any room for the bearing to fall out. So I put a couple of pieces of wood like this. The thing you want to do is get that bolt that we talked about a little bit earlier and make sure, give it a little Put it about halfway down to where that sleeve is, where that bushing is, and you just give it a little tap, tap like that, and it'll go to the side. Then you can feel that it's actually hitting the edge of the bearing. You give it a couple of taps. And as you can see, that bearing falls right out of there. And that's how easy it is to get the bearings out. Now I want to discuss a few other tips here with you before we finish up. If you're going to be bead blasting your hubs, take the bearings out, do your bead blasting, get them all nice and clean. Or if you're going to strip them, however you're going to refinish them. Before you paint them, I would recommend you put new bearings in. Yes, before you paint, put the new bearings in. I do it that way, then I mask them off carefully, and then I paint the hub. I do that in order to avoid any nicks or scratches on the hub after I've painted it. So, get everything out, get it all cleaned up. You can bead blast it, press your new bearings in, mask it, then you can go about your painting and refinishing your hub.